don't blog because there's guys at Deloitte who are blogging all day and I'm beating them. I can see the whole wide world with these two eyes. And I can be whoever I want to be because it's my life. So instead of having 20 pages on the website, you're better off to have four pages jam packed? Um, no, the number of pages is a thousand mm -hmm. words or more. So I've taken the time to write 6,000 words. Has anyone told you to blog before? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are they on the top term for Google on anything? I know I told you to forgot. Are they, are they winning, right? Do you know how long it would take? Like, most of my clients, they'll take them between like four and eight hours to write a thousand words. So I'm asking the plumber to write a thousand words. He's gonna take like all day if he's ever gonna write a thousand words. Maybe you guys as lawyers can knock it out and I don't know. How, how long is it gonna take you to write a thousand words? Four hours, two hours? I got a, I got a <laughs> copywriter, she can do it in an hour. She's, but, like, she's, but she's a professional writer, right? Say it takes you four hours. Um, are you going to do that every week? Maybe it takes you eight hours. I don't know why. Some people write a little slower. I don't know if that quick at writing. Um, don't blog. The guys who are winning are blogging. But now you want to. Now we're going to get into something a little bit dirty. So, but sometimes you got to try a little harder to win. Um, so, don't blog because there's guys at Deloitte who are blogging all day, and I'm beating them. No, how are you beating them? And I talked to you about 10 minute YouTube videos. So don't cloak, you'll, you'll have website guys who say you can cloak it and just bury text in the white, white on white text. Google will derank you for that. They know that trick exists. When they read the color formulas, they're gonna, they're gonna penalize you and you'll actually be worse off. You'll have trouble getting back up. So you need words. They need to be unique content. You can't copy and paste, Google can recommend, Google can see it. Do not pay someone from India to write you articles because they will copy them and you will get, <laughs> and you will get blacklisted by Google. Do not do this. You need unique content, and you don't want to sit there blogging all day. Well, guess what? Why is this video camera running here right now? Because I'm going to take that, that video, transcribe it for 10 cents a minute, and bury it in my site map. And I'm going to do that over and over and over. I have hundreds of thousands of words on my website. It's all unique content. None of it's copied. It's all relevant to my subject, and I'm not blogging. And that's why I'm number one. And that's how every one of you guys could be number one too, but you gotta just exercise that discipline. So you have to put out that content every single week in order you wanna do it. If you put it out every single day, if you put content out every single day, you would probably be the number one account, the number one law firm in the country in five years on Google. But don't you think that there is only one page one? If everybody knows those tactics, that at some point they will be kicked to them to page. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's the same reason why everybody doesn't have a six pack and a four percent body fat. <laughs> you, so you know, if you want to lose weight, you got to work out and eat healthy. How many people work out and eat healthy? I just told you. Unfortunately, you can't write. There's no silver bullet. I'm telling you to make weekly content. Waking, waking. Making weekly content is hard. Making daily content is like your like Connor McDavid type. You know, it's it's really difficult, right? So, yeah, theoretically. But you're not putting this content on a blog. You're putting it right on your website. Right on my website. Yep. Yeah. So, so on the site map where nobody even sees it, you won't even know that it was there unless I told you it was there. It's not even one of these top pages. You got to go down, go to the site map, and actually. So if you have additional pages that a client can't readily click on, they still count. Thousand words or more. Okay. Unique content, not copied, relevant That's to your site. But where are those words on your website then? That's what I'm cool. Where do they show up? It's right here. So here's those pages a, just aren't listed in his site main site directory, so it's not like like up at the top where he has all those things. It's, it's not under team services or any of those. It's just got buried in the back door. So you just don't bother listing all that information anymore? It's 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 listed, but it's more difficult to get to. Right. And I'm not even proofing it. This is literal machine transcription. If you read it, it's kind of painful. <laughs> um, there's overwhelming. I I don't care about being perfect. I want to. What does it take to get the first? If Google starts marking grammar, I'll start doing grammar. But they don't care. 
just cares that it's unique. You know, it can't be copied. Um, it has to be relevant for your subject. That's the key. So now doing this is very, very difficult, and that's why I realize as an accountant I can build these great business plans and write what people have to do. Um, but that's why I partnered in a marketing firm because people need kind of their butt kicked once a week in order to actually do it and someone to actually help them with some of the technical things that they, they run around. So it would be my recommendation to you guys to either A, do this yourself, or B, hire somebody who charges you a monthly fee to keep doing it forever. And ideally, someone who meets with you every single week, because that's what it actually takes. Um, you'll make a change on your website, and it'll mess up something in the header. You know, right now I'm not entirely happy that, I don't know if you saw on my header, the black bar is a little too thick. I'm, I'm working on that to get that, that knocked out. I want this to be a little thinner. Um, things like that, I'm just doing it every single day every single week. Um, and that's kind of how you make your phone ring. Then when you get to that point, then you can turn the ads on. Now, look, now the ads are cheaper and they'll convert. Because now someone searches it and Sproul Associates, 148 Google reviews. So sorry, are yeah. you saying that by playing with the website and editing it, does, does that actually have an effect or you're just making yourself a better website? Um, sometimes you'll make little changes and stuff won't look great anymore. So, like, you don't want to spend an over amount of time, but... It's not affecting your Google yeah, ranking yeah. to be on there every day? Uh, you, you do need regular content updates. Okay. So that weekly content, it's not just the amount, it's the velocity of the content. Too. Same thing on, on YouTube. Um, it's not just the amount, it's the velocity. And then you can start looking at the other marketing initiatives that feed into this. Referrals, outbound, trade shows, networking, paid online ads, social media, print media. Do not spend all your time on Twitter hoping to land clients mm -hmm. or posting on Instagram. It's not going to work. You don't have any reviews. It's not going to convert. Spend all, you know, spend all year to get two clients, right? When you get a bunch of Google reviews, they're just going to convert more. And that's just not my recipe for marketing a professional practice. That's my recipe for marketing virtually any small business local based small business that you run into. You're, you could be a plumber or a lawyer, do the same recipe and the stats are just so overwhelming in favor of this. And I literally had to fly out to meet the people who were the best at this in the world because I saw so many clients that had to pay so much money and not get anywhere. Um, like I said, over the last year, type in you know, their Edmonton website design and they're on page nine. Well, you're going to be on page nine when you hire them. That's just how it's going to work. So, um, yeah. I'll uh, open up for you guys. Any, any, any questions on that one? How often do you post a video? I've been posting every week. I want to be the best small business accounting firm in the country. I'm trying to post every day. I'm trying to do seven a week. It's hard. It's hard. I did three weeks. I did seven in a row for three weeks. And then I did three. Um, so, so let's go back to your time. Yeah. You only have so many hours a week to do accounting work. Yeah, yeah. Now, maybe you're not doing it. Maybe you're managing a business. Yeah. How much time do you spend on this marketing? Um, I can do the questions at lunchtime. So between 12 and 1, I can generate the questions. And I need four hours to shoot the videos and post them. So the hours, you know, mind you, I'm 80 hours a week, 5 a.m. till 7 p.m., Monday to Friday, uh, Saturday, 5 a.m. to 5 p.m that for a long time, but I'm not trying to be the best in the city. I'm trying to be the best small business accounting firm in the country. That's that's my goal. If you're just trying to be in the city, you don't need to do that. As you we're talking about, I'm trying to do seven videos a week, and I'm spending, call it nine hours a week. You're trying to use those nine hours and do one video a week, right? So you're trying to do nine hours every two months, almost. So that's the threshold. And it sounds easy, but it's the easiest to break your appointment with yourself when you have the appointment to make your video. It's, it's difficult to break an appointment with, you know, you got a court appointment, guess what, you're not going to miss that one. Uh, you got a client appointment, you're probably not going to miss that one either. But when you have an appointment with yourself on your calendar to make content for your website, that's the first one that goes. So I'm telling you guys all the answer. It's, you know, like eating sweets at night and not going to the gym. It's, if it was easy, everyone would do it. And that's why Google makes it hard. Do you ever talk to your family? 
<laughs> That's a good question. I call my I call my mom pretty much every day on the way home when I'm driving home. Yeah, I call mom. Dad usually chimes in on the speakerphone. Um, yeah, I don't have as many friends as I used to. You have to be. No kids. I have two because kids. Two kids. Do you know them? Do you remember? Them? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I know them. Yeah, and, and I'll, I'll give you another stat too. The average person spends five hours a day watching TV or on social media. So when I get home, I check out. I only get about two hours before they go to bed. But I'm going to spend those two hours not watching TV or not watching or doing anything else. That's, that's what I'm going to do. And that, maybe that's a, uh, a choice and some people don't want to make that choice. But there's probably other things that you can cut out in your life. Now I'm telling you, like, if you want to be the best firm in the city. If not, you can still watch your TV, go watch your Game of Thrones, whatever. But if you want to be the best firm in the country, you're probably going to have to cut off Game of Thrones to get there. Um, unless you cut off your family and said and still watch Game of Thrones. I guess you could do that too, but I'm not sure if that's the, the right move, but yeah. I just have a quick question about the YouTube. How do you make sure Google knows it's you? Or, like, are you creating a YouTube account or is it linked to a Google account somehow? It, it's linked to the My Business account. Use okay. the same email address as the My Business. Yeah. So you're going to set up that My Business. You start the YouTube account on the same one and link it. Start one for your business, not for yourself. And do you advertise on YouTube? I do. And do you get revenue from that? I do. Lots so, of people watching accounting videos. Um, no, it's people. So the way I advertise on YouTube is I advertise on YouTube not to. I'm not trying to be a YouTube star. I'm trying to get leads. So I have some ideas to be a YouTube star, but it would take me a long time. It's a skill that I'm really honest. I, I don't have it yet. The guys who are winning do this every single day. They don't miss. So. Um, one of my mentors, I listen to his podcast every morning, and I listen to his podcast every morning, not because I really like podcasts, I'd rather listen to audiobooks, I think they're more informative, but I listen to his podcast every morning because it's my reminder that I know he does this stupid thing every single day for like 45 minutes to an hour, and I'm struggling to do my 10 minutes. So that's why I listen to it, it's my reminder that I'm not there yet, right? Uh, but on YouTube, you advertise the same way, you pick the keywords, so if they search family lawyer, all of a sudden, they're going to be watching a review on that Tesla they want to buy, and all of a sudden, your ad for a family lawyer is going to pop up because they search your keyword term. So it's going to retarget them based on that. Um, and they're very underpriced ads on YouTube. So everyone's just buying the AdWords, family lawyer. So you show up at the top. Everyone's buying that. It's going to cost you 5 10 maybe even 15 bucks a click to click on your website, which is why you give away the $30 book, because you don't want to have to pay a million people to click. Uh, you want to convert them. Um, so, but then you can target them on YouTube, which not a lot of your, your competitors are doing. It's got to be a 30 second ad. Uh, either you're going to do that one professionally, it's a little higher standard, or you're going to move while you're talking. There's a lot of stats that say if you're moving while you're talking on that YouTube ad, that they're going to continue watching. Even if they're not interested in what you're saying, they're more interested in where you're going, so they're going to keep watching. <laughs> so, that's true. I don't make up the rules. I just, I just, I just copy them. I just rip them off, really. That's the guys who are winning. That's, that's how they do it. So, um, yeah. yeah. And if we miss this, we can just watch your video. You can just watch the video. On your website. So, my ask for you right now, I will probably be uh, full as an accountant by the end of the year. I only do 100 households. Um, for my firm to get to 200, it's going to require a guy like Cole or some of the other guys who are in the system to kind of be ready to step in and do those client meetings. Uh, but my goal is to get in front of more small business owners like this in the group setting. I do a free business boot camp at Nate to have one on May 4th. But if you guys could give me a Google review, say you listened to Josh talk, what came up to it? Now you're not a client, you came up, I listened to Josh's talk on small business marketing and it was excellent information. Remember, there are 5% of our population who are self-employed and 50% of all jobs in this country are from small businesses and half of them are going to fail. And we're all out there sitting talking about pipelines and labor law changes and guess what, it doesn't matter, half of them are still going to fail anyway because they don't know what the heck to do because they can't get the phone to ring. And they're, the, they're the, the best plumber or the best electrician. So if you guys could leave me uh, a Google review and it's like one of those things, you leave the scene of the crime, you'll probably never do it. So if you can leave me that Google review and say, hey, listen to Josh talk, and he has really good information, you should go out anytime you get a chance to hear him speak on the topic.